Here's the situation. You're a Logic Pro for iPad user and you want to export your project and share it with someone who doesn't use Logic. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to export your project as individual audio files so that you can use them in any other platform. Let's go. If you're new to Logic Pro for iPad or you'd just like a refresher, check out the other video tutorials linked in the description. So here's a Logic Pro for iPad project with six different tracks. And if I wanted to share this with another Logic user, no problem, I can just send them the project. But what if I wanna share it with someone that uses Pro Tools or Cubase or Fruity Loops? Well, to do that, what we can do is tap up the top here on the little drop down arrow and tap on export. Make sure under file type, it says uncompressed. Now I recommend that you tap the I button here and make this a WAV file. And the standard bit depth and sample rate these days is 24 bit, 44.1 kilohertz. If that's something different, it's not a big deal, but you might just need to let the person at the other end know so that they can import it at that sample rate. Then we want to select entire project length to make sure that everything is captured. And then we want to select this option here, export all tracks as individual audio files. This means instead of mixing it down into one single WAV file, we'll actually get six individual audio files, one for each track. Finally, let's tap on processing details. There's a few things here that we want to check out. Include audio tail. I always recommend turning that on. That will just ensure that if there's any reverb or delay at the end, it keeps those effects. If we're actually using effects. Normalize, I would leave off. You can turn that on if you want, but that will actually normalize or increase the volume of all of your tracks. And you generally don't want that if you've got quieter or louder tracks included. And these ones are important. Include effects plugins and include volume and pan automation. So if you select these, it will be as if each individual track is exactly like you're hearing it. Now that's fine if say you want to give it to someone else so that they can bring these into their project and hear all of your effects and then maybe record some guitar or vocals over the top. However, if you're giving it to someone else to mix or to master your track, you want these off. You want them to be able to do all the effects and volume and panning themselves. So it is a personal choice, but basically if you're working with someone else and it's unmixed at this point, leave them off. If you want them to hear the effects that you've already put on the tracks, then turn it on. Tap export options to go back and then hit export. And Logic Pro will bounce or export all of those tracks as individual WAV files. And in fact, it'll then conveniently zip them all up into a zip archive file. All we need to do now is tap on save to files and choose a location to save. In this case, I'm going to go iCloud Drive and downloads and just hit the save button to save that zip file. And there you go, export complete. The export was successful, hit okay. And now if we go to the files app, so we're gonna swipe up and then tap and then swipe down and type the word files. And we're going to jump in to the files app and you'll see here under iCloud Drive and under downloads, there is the zip file. You can now use this to send it to someone either via Google Drive, Dropbox, iCloud Drive, however you like. And then when they receive it, all they need to do is tap on it and there you go, it's going to create this folder with all of the files. There's the six individual WAV files and they can now bring those files into their project. One final tip is to rename this zip file before you send it to someone else so that they have all the information they need. So let's tap and hold and then tap on rename. And then what I'm going to do is put brackets at the end here. I'm going to type 24 bit, 44.1, which is the kilohertz and then 110, BPM. This gives the person at the other end, without having to look at these files, all the information they need to be able to import this and make sure that their project is set up with the same sample, bit depth, and tempo so that they can bring it in. You can put other information in there as well, like the key signature or any other information you think might be relevant, but it's just a handy habit to get into before you share your stems with someone else. There you have it, quick, easy, and painless exporting your stems here from Logic Pro for iPad. If you'd like to learn a heap more about creating, recording, and releasing in Logic Pro for iPad, check out the other videos in the the description.